Welcome to this Make Code for EV3 video on building a line follower using a color sensor and a proportional controller. When your light sensor is detecting dark areas or bright areas, there is a middle section where it's going to detect grays. And this is where we want the robot to go. The idea behind the proportional controller is that the amount of turn made by a robot is going to be directly proportional to the error to the intensity of the light so that as the light goes from extremely white to extremely dark the turn on the robot is going to be different the same way when you take a curve you're going to turn more your wheels to stay on the road this is the same idea let's see how this this works in code the first step is to compute the air and we're going to use a variable to store that. The error is a difference between the measured reflected light, which can be computed from the sensors, and the value of the reflected light in this position. If you use port view, you can easily figure out that value. I need to do a difference, so I'm going to go in math and use that block. So what I want to compute is 40, which is the value of the reflected light at this location, minus the value of the sensor. The reason I do it this way, not the other way around, is because if the sensor is here, then the reflected light is going to be very high, let's say 100. So 40 minus 100 is going to be minus 60. And we're going to use this as a term ratio of the motor and the negative turn ratio is going to go and turn to the left. Similarly, if the sensor is over the dark area, this value is going to be very low, let's say 10. Now 40 minus 10 is 30. So the steer, the turn ratio is going to be positive and go to the right. And that's why it's a proportional controller. Now that we have the error, we're going to do one more thing that's very important. We're going to tune it. So we're going to declare something called a gain. And a gain tells how sensible and how nervous is going to be your con controller. Let's start with the value of 4. You'll see that you'll have to tune it for all your robots. Next, we're going to declare a new variable called the correction or term ratio. And this is one you want to compute. The term ratio will go into the steer motor. The term ratio is the product of your gain and the error. Finally, once your term ratio is computed, you can use it in a steer motor as usual. Make sure you don't go too fast or you will veer off the track. Okay, let it's time to test this code. We're going to download it to the robot. And what you're going to see is that the robot is going to follow the line, but it might start to turn a lot. And you can see that it's turning a lot. When this happens, it means your gain is too high. Let's tune the gain and divide it by two. What we want is the robot to follow the line nervously enough so that it doesn't miss the turns. And this is much better. Let's see if it can follow the line all the way to the end. 